The amount of illegal fentanyl smuggled across the United States is increasing, and so are the drug dangers. That's according to a new study. Fox's Kennedy Hayes is live in Denver. Kennedy, what does the study say about the amount of fentanyl being seized? Christine, according to a new study released by the National Institute of Health, law enforcement seized record numbers of fentanyl last year, and more than half of what they found was in pill form. Now, take a look at this chart showing the recent spike in fentanyl seizures across the U.S. Researchers under the National Institute of Drug Abuse say agents went from seizing 44 million fentanyl pills in 2022 to more than 115 million pills last year. The study also talks about how social media has made it easier for cartels to advertise and sell illicit counterfeit fentanyl pills. I talked to a drug epidemiologist about what else is causing the spike. Now that fentanyl is appearing in these pretty little pills, I worry that young people in particular are going to buy an illegal pill thinking it's something like Xanax or Adderall, and then it's going to contain fentanyl and it could kill them. So that's a big problem because these pills look like other prescription drugs. The Drug Enforcement Administration says some pills are brightly colored to be disguised as candy. And according to this year's DEA National Drug Threat Assessment, cartels based in Mexico are now distributing fentanyl in all 50 states. But law enforcement is finding the most fentanyl pills right here in the western region. And according to a new CDC study, drug overdoses nationwide fell 3% last year. About most states in the east saw fewer deaths, while states in the west saw more. In Denver, Kennedy Hayes, Fox 5 News. Kennedy, thanks.